afternoon, my lovely friends. My name is Fernanda, if you've never seen my face before. If you have, welcome back to my channel. It is currently 6 p.m. as I film this, and I am so excited for today's video because I'm just gonna take you along my everyday summer night routine. Now, I'm not gonna lie, every night does look a little bit different for me, but there's a lot of things happening in today's night routine that are non-negotiables in my life. I am currently all dressed up because I'm gonna go to a cafe with my friend Trinity, and I'm so excited because going to cafes is one of my favorite things ever, and I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite coffee shops that just recently opened up in my city and I'm just gonna get a lot of editing done my friend Trinity has a podcast and a YouTube channel so I think she has work as well we're definitely gonna go there maybe get a little sweet treat and then Trinity's actually an amazing cook so I think we're gonna go to the grocery store after get some food she's gonna make me dinner at her place which is so exciting because honestly I kind of hate cooking and recently I haven't even been in that much of a cooking phase so it is pretty realistic for me to not be making dinner tonight but I'm gonna have a dinner with her which will be super cute and then tonight I want to do some self-care activities we're gonna do some cleaning Let's do what we need to do. Like I said earlier, it is 6 p.m. right now So I'm just so happy that it's like such a beautiful day and it's so sunny and the fact that it's this light out at 6 p.m And just bright and summer vibes is exactly everything I could want and more. Let me show you my outfit of the day I'm gonna really need you guys to ignore the mess behind me The reason there is so much clothes everywhere is because I'm actually packing for my vacation So there's just clothes everywhere, but I recently have been doing a lot of shopping and honestly I feel like I was out of my fashion era for so long for the past Last year, I've been really focused on my self-care and wellness and fitness era that I've just been like collecting fitness, little two-piece sets, sports bras, shorts. I've been doing a lot of self-care. I've been in athleisure a lot that I just have forgotten that I love fashion and that I love to dress up. So for the past few weeks or the past few days, I've been really in my shopping era. I'm wearing these super cute cargo pants from Zara. I'm absolutely obsessed with any kind of cargo pants that's like low-waisted like this. They're super comfortable and I just love the way these fit. I'm wearing some New Balance. 550s with dark green and white this new tank top. I just got yesterday I am obsessed with the material is unreal and I love how thick these straps are But this tank top is from urban outfitters and my tote bag says bloom athletic club And I think it's so adorable and then in terms of jewelry. I have also been in my jewelry era I'm trying to be more put together on the day-to-day -day basis So I've been wearing a lot of gold and let me show you you guys have been obsessed with this necklace I've been getting so many compliments on it and my mom actually got it for me for Christmas I think I also just got this bracelet today. I'll put the name of the store on the screen I also just bought this bracelet today from that same store and I love it I just feel like this might be doing too much if I wear both today But anyways, this bracelet is the type of bracelet that never comes off It literally got like zapped onto me and it's from Leah Alexandra. My hoop earring is from Amazon My little earring here and in here is from Missouri But yeah, I'm gonna definitely try to incorporate more fashion in my content and more outfit of the days whenever I film because I want to look presentable every single day. So anyways, I'm very excited. Let's start going to the coffee shop. thing ever. I personally love coming to cafes. I get so much work done and especially if you work from home or you're an entrepreneur or you're an influencer or you just have a flexible schedule, I highly recommend coming to coffee shops. It's one of my favorite activities to do on my own and even better when I have a friend. What did you get? Regular iced matcha oat milk. Mm -hmm. It's actually seven now so I feel like we, we were trying to not get a super caffeinated drink. So I got a yuzu coconut milk matcha. Apparently it's sweetened with like yuzu and coconut sweetener. Is it not good? Wow. It's a yuzu. <laughs> I think it needs more ice or it needs to be fast. Anyways, I'm gonna taste it better. I'm posting a Summer Diaries episode one tomorrow, which I'm really excited for. Let's get to work. Sorry. <laughs> it is 
8 p.m. now and we're at the grocery store. We're gonna find some good food to eat so that we can make it. All the meat here looks amazing. We're at Urban Fair. I never come to this grocery store, but this is like Trent's second home. So we're thinking of getting this chicken breast kebab mango chili. It looks amazing. But like honestly, all of the meat here looks so good. I'm eyeing this. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but these stuffed potatoes look unreal. Guys, I I was a flop today. I dropped an entire watermelon on the floor in the middle of the street. It cracked everywhere. My pants have watermelon on them. They're we're sticky. Gonna, we're gonna save it. We're gonna best believe we're still eating it. <laughs> we even got some spicy chips to hold this over while we cook. And, and more tails. We're making the exact same thing we did last time. If you guys watched one of my previous vlogs, we made this for dinner. So good. We're making a watermelon salad this time. I'm so excited for this chicken. Look at our watermelon. I want to do a behind. I am on couscous duty again. <laughs> I'm really good at this part. This salad looks so amazing. We added some tahini, got lemon, mint, watermelon, feta cheese. We have olive Cucumber. oil. Cucumber. Here's our couscous, so delish. Okay, next up we're making our mocktails. Look at how good this chicken looks. So excited. It's really good. We're gonna make a little mocktail. Can you explain them, your sleepy girl mocktail? Sleepy girl mocktail, heart cherry juice, magnesium powder, Perrier. Puts and it's bed like a little baby. She inspired me, and I think tonight we're gonna take magnesium pills, which apparently helps you fall asleep faster or and helps your muscle recovery. We're gonna do magnesium tonight. She's like the queen of night routines, so perfect for her to be in this video, actually. But <laughs> I'm gonna crush up some watermelon and then put it like on top of the ice. We're just freestyling. We're just freestyling. <laughs> Look at how good this all looks. These plates are huge, I love those. This is so cute and communal dinner. I'm so excited to eat, I'm so hungry. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. But I like it. That's really good. So close, secure. That was an amazing dinner. That was an amazing hangout. Honestly, I had so much fun and I don't know how it went by so quickly because it's literally 10 p.m. and I saw Trin at like seven. So I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, I'm back at home. I feel good, I'm back in my space. Normally, I would take a shower and wash my hair and do the most, but this morning I actually went to the gym. I went to Equinox. Lately, I've been doing like Equinox day trips. That's when you know, like <laughs> I'm doing the most, but I'll like go to Equinox in the morning, work out, and then I'll take a shower there. I'll use their steam sauna. I'll wash my hair. I'll do all of the things and then I'll do some work there So I don't necessarily need to wash my hair It actually feels really super soft and I will say I've been using the K18 hair mask and I've been absolutely loving it It makes my hair so soft so I highly recommend purchasing that if you are interested in like hair care But yeah, I'm not gonna wash my hair But I am gonna take a body shower and I might do a little face mask just to kind of cool down relax And I guess it's the perfect time to like have your vitamins whatever I restocked on these apple cider vinegar gummies from Body Energy Club this morning, which I absolutely love So I took two of these this morning Trin is the queen of night routines and earlier She told me that magnesium is good for sleep. So I think I'm gonna take a magnesium pill I have one right here and I also have my favorite water bottle ever So I'm gonna fill this up with water and just drink this all make myself a tea I'm gonna snack on one date I absolutely love dates and they're my favorite little snack because they're so sweet, they're good for you, they're good in fiber, and they're just so good. And this is my tea of choice. This is the tea that we're gonna have today. It is a calming one, it has an herbal infusion, it is caffeine free. Let's go right ahead and make it. My 
tea is still so hot and low key. I don't know why I made it because I'm literally about to go in the shower, but hopefully by the time I'm out of the shower, it will cool down. So let's go over there. <laughs> out of the shower feeling fresh faced I'm so tired I'm gonna do a quick little face mask I got this one recently and it's in such a cool packaging it is from the brand bubble you can kind of see the words there but I really like their packaging this is their detoxifying clay mask so we're gonna use this and also one thing that I love about this is that it came with a little brush which is even better I don't have to get my hands dirty I am personally obsessed with self-care I honestly don't even find it a hassle to do like I feel like self-care is something that I really prioritize and you know I prioritize it over some other things which maybe some other people wouldn't do but it's just something that makes me feel really good and maybe it's the Libra in me I feel like Libras are very they love taking care of themselves and I take pride in it I feel like I'm more confident whenever I am really investing time into my outwards appearance as well as my inner appearance which as I'm saying that I think we are gonna do some journaling tonight or at least it doesn't even have to be like a big thing like some nights I'm not craving a crazy journal moment Maybe I'll watch a YouTube video and like take some notes. My friend was saying that she was doing that last night, just like watching inspiring videos and just taking notes. And she was so relaxed and she loved it and it kind of inspired me. So I might do that tonight. Do I look aesthetic and cute? I feel like a lot of times I always get asked how I make my face mask so perfect, but I always take the time to just make it look super cute and even on my skin. And also if you're gonna take a picture in your face mask, do it before it dries because then it'll be all one color. I'm gonna set a 15 minute timer and in that time we're gonna pick tomorrow's outfit and get our pajamas on tomorrow I am gonna film a morning routine so I'm gonna prepare myself tonight so that tomorrow I'm ready to go which is something that I feel like a lot of people do like they set out their clothes the night before or maybe they meal prep or whatever it may be just so that they're ready for the next day and that the next day ends up being a lot easier for them so let's go do that This is the set I think I'm gonna wear tomorrow. I already signed up for my workout class. It's called Power Full Body. It's like a weightlifting class at House Concepts, but I think this will be super cute. It's like a one piece set. Also guys, my bed is made. I just made it right now. And unfortunately, all my outlets don't work in my bedroom, which is super annoying. So I can't even put like a cute light for you guys, but we'll definitely light some candles. My mask is done though. So let's go wash it off. And also I was gonna say, I'm gonna use some of this. This is super cute. It is pillow mist. I'm gonna spray this on my bed so that I have a super relaxing sleep and it feels very luxurious. We are cute, we are fresh faced, and let's get into the actual skincare. These are the products that I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna be using Drunk Elephant. This isn't sponsored by them, but I am very grateful that they sent all these to me because I'm super excited to try them out and use them. One thing I will say is that skincare is so different depending on the person, so don't copy what I'm doing because you may have way different skin than I do, and our problem areas may be different. But I'm gonna start off by using the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. This refines and retexturize. It's got 10% AHA and 1% BHA, which is like exfoliants. And I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use them every single night. So you have to be very, okay, what just happened? You have to be very careful to not use them like every single night. And I'm going down on my neck as well. And then I'm just gonna go in with the Lala Retro Whipped Cream, which is for rescue and recover. And it's got six African oils. So we're gonna use some of this as well. I'm obsessed with their packaging. I think it's so fun and cute. Okay, and then the next thing I have from them is the Lippy Balm. It's in such a cute little package. The last product that I'm gonna use is the Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. Now, I would use some of this and gua sha. Okay, I love that oil. I feel so soft 
And yeah, the other thing I was gonna say is I'm gonna moisture my entire body. I'm feeling a little bit extra tonight, so I'm gonna use my more expensive lotion. This is the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia Lotion. I absolutely love the scent of this. If you are looking for like a very perfumey, oh, just amazing smelling lotion, I highly recommend this one. Again, not sponsored. I actually purchased this with my own money. you. I don't know if you can tell, but I got a lash lift and tint and also a brow lamination and they're not brushed right now so you might not be able to perfectly see them, but I honestly love the way they turned out and I think that might be like a beauty treatment that I might actually keep up with because it makes your eyebrows like perfectly in the shape that you want and it's so easy to fill them in and as well as my lashes, they look so long and curly and I just love it. I feel like it's so easy to wear like super minimal makeup and it looks super natural and it lasts six to eight weeks so I definitely think I'm gonna be getting a lash lift and tint and a brow lamination more often like probably when I come back from vacation I might get it done again because I honestly really really loved it I absolutely love gua sha I feel like it really has made my jaw snatched and let me tell you guys to get your jaw snatched you need to be gua sha but also drinking a lot of water because it just flushes out all the toxins out of your body and you just look snatched when you wake up so i'm gonna drink some water before i go to bed as well as my tea that's literally probably like freezing now but whatever i also wanted to say i am obsessed with the ordinary multi-peptide lash and brow serum but also if you don't have this vaseline works really well and i feel like it completely made my eyebrows grow so much i'm gonna use the ordinary multi-peptide serum for hair density to just massage the product into my scalp to really get it going and like this this also improves circulation with your blood and it helps grow your hair. Also, I wanna say guys, I'm doing a lot of like self-care things in this video. Just keep in mind that this is not what I do every night and a lot of nights I just kind of like literally crawl into bed super late, but I did have time tonight and like since I am filming, I'm like I might as well do like the ultimate self-care night routine because I know you guys like to see all of these rituals and they are all things that I do. I just tend to do them more like three times a week or four times a week or whatever whenever I have a lot of time. I'm not trying to set a standard and then you guys feel bad if you don't have time to do all this because also keep in mind, I am a content creator YouTuber, so I feel like I have a lot of time to do all this stuff that maybe someone working a nine to five job wouldn't do. But you guys can take inspiration from wherever you want in this video and if something really applies to you or you think could really help you in your routine or you wanted some ideas, I feel like then this is perfect for you. Okay, I'm gonna write my to-do list and drink my tea and then once I've done that, I'm gonna brush my teeth, do all the oral care stuff, but I just really wanna drink my tea and I wanna do it before I brush my teeth. look slightly rough right now but the fact that my books are over there I'm gonna show you a few of my books that I have I'm also not gonna read tonight but reading before bed is super good it calms you down you know getting some pages in getting some knowledge in so I'm gonna give you some book recommendations that I like if you want a fun read before bed Colleen Hoover she delivers every time I read this ugly love which was great I also read obviously it ends with us and then I haven't read this one before but I know it's good reminders of him and then I'm currently reading Verity which I know you guys are gonna be like girl you've been reading that for months and all I can say is you're right because I kind of had a reading break and I haven't read in a while But I'm definitely gonna bring this with me to Costa Rica. My friend Bella just finished it and she said it was amazing This is another really popular book that I feel like would be really good for me to bring on vacation Because it's literally called people we meet on vacation, which is kind of a vibe I feel like if you're going on like a cruise or like a tropical vacation Getting a book like this or Malibu rising or something to do with like a beachy theme I feel like it's super fun and will help you romanticize in terms of spirituality I've got you covered. This book is called The Ultimate Energy. It talks about chakras, auras, and energy healing, which it's huge. So I honestly haven't even started it. I've just like looked through it and like read random pages, but I really like this. I feel like it has really good topics. So obviously this. These two books, on the other hand, I've probably read like half of each of them. I always just pick them up and then read them whenever I'm in the mood for this kind of vibe. But this one is A New Earth Awakening to Your Life's Purpose. And this one is Becoming Supernatural. This is a really good book. 
book. And then lastly, I have two other self-help, more like learning books. You can guess what it's about reading the title. And then this one is very similar to 100 Essays to Change the Way You Think, which is called The Art of Thinking Clearly, which it also has like little individual stories similar to that other book if you've read the other one. But I've only read like the beginning of this. But anyways, those are a bunch of book recommendations. I feel like I definitely need to read more and I really want to get better at making my night routine more consistent because like I said earlier, I feel like I'm really good at having my morning routine. But night routine, I always just stay up so late and just like crawl into bed. And it's only like the few nights of the week where I really take the time to do the most but I want to make it more of an everyday thing to do the most all the time because my body deserves a good rest and do not disturb moment my to-do list for tomorrow I you go on my notes app I go on notion I figure out what I'm doing um, and I know that I booked a workout class tomorrow like I said earlier for 9 30 which means I'm gonna wake up at 7 45 and as one does I'm gonna put like 50,000 alarms because I don't trust myself and then I check any text that I have do one last minute scroll I'm sorry I'm like every other person I will um and then usually I call my boyfriend before I go to bed and I'll be like good night so that's what I'm gonna do right now say good night Good night, vlog. Have a good sleep, everyone. I'm gonna say good night now and blow my candle and go to bed. <sighs>